a Gen 5B6. We're going to do a Elite E2 catch can installation on this today with clean side separator. Now, the first thing we do with any of these that are earlier than a late 2013, if you have a plastic cam cover or valve cover, the black plastic, you need to remove your PCV barb, which is located at the very rear of the passenger side valve cover. There's a easy, just move the tab and it'll snap right off. You're going to grab that metal barb at the base with the pliers or a vice grips. Don't crush it. You're just going to grab it enough so that you can give it a quarter turn and pull it right up. And when we get this off, this is a flaw in the design by General Motors. We can see that these two tiny holes in the bottom are clogged. So we have not been evacuating the crankcase because of this. See how those holes are too tiny to flow properly, so now they've clogged. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply drill the two bottom ones to 5 64ths of an inch and the top one to 1 8th of an inch. Now if you have a late 2013 and all 2014 and up, 3.0 and 3.6 liters, with the cast aluminum cam covers, this mod has already been done. This is what General Motors implemented at that time. So I'm going to take just a moment here if you want to pause on that. And so now that we have done the drill mod and we have cleaned it all out with brake clean, we just go back to where that was located, press it firmly back into place, and you'll put your line on. Now, this is going to be relatively easy install because it's already been modified to put a single valve can on it in the past. Normally, this line right here would be connected to that PCV barb, but it's already been cut and joined, so half of our install is done on this. If not, you'll just be cutting this tube here and adding your lines to it. So we're going to pull these lines loose off of the existing can. We're going to remove that can. And you'll notice that this is Will this be in Since the stock air box has been replaced with a cold air in, so we'll be setting this aside for somebody else and we're going to do the same so we're going to locate the mount bracket to the clamp and these clamps can be used either way both like this or like this so Looks like up toward the top is where it's going to look the nicest. Knees up first. Again, 7 sixteenths wrench on these. The car is a 10 millimeter. And we're going to place this. Again, I would say about right there looks nice. So, we'll take our 7 16th inch wrenches and we'll tighten this clamp. There. 
into our fittings how we want them here. We're going to put our stock bolt back on. it in place. If you need to, you can give a little bend to tweak it to make sure it's all upright and looking the way you want it. So first thing we're going to do is we've got these lines coming across here and this is going to be our inlet. This is going to be into the center of the can itself. So we're going to measure and if we go, I'd say about here is going to look, where do you want that run? I think leave that that length. Bend it over. All right. With the AN fittings. Spray a little bit of WD-40 on them to make them look go together easier. And you're going to have to push to get the line in there. Now we're going to Take this apart here, and we're going to add a That hose is from a few year old installation, so it's a little stiffer than the new hose. Okay, put this on here. And... Take our wrenches, three quarter and eleven sixteenths. Bring this together. Being the flagship of the Elite line. AN fittings being standard, there's approximately $100 worth of fitting if fittings included standard on the E2X if you look up the price of these. So now we've taken care of the dirty side that's going to the rear of the passenger side valve cover. LFX or LLT will be basically the same. The difference is cast aluminum intake manifold or a molded plastic. Now we've got Again, our older hose here is going to install our check valves, which let me grab them quick. Now, we're going to make sure then with our arrows that we're going to be pointing away from the can. So. We're going to take and cut a length of hose. We're going to install our check valve. Verify its operation. It's going to slide over the OEM vacuum tube. And now was this further up tucked in this way? Same thing. Check valves only go in the outer two. We're going to get a little bit of WD-40 on again.
again, don't push it too far in. Thread this on. The wrenches again. Double check our length here, and we're a little bit on the long side, so cut it. We're going to want this to be able to tuck down below the engine cover, so hopefully that'll fit. We can always adjust this clamp to slide the entire can up and down. Now, our secondary outlet for because we only have vacuum when we're at idle, cruise, and deceleration on our stock system. We're gonna go into, and here we have a Veraram intake, is that correct? Mm -hmm. We're gonna go into right at the coupler itself here. Oh, battery died. Oh, great. damage the tiny bit of plastic won't. Okay, so what we've done is we have drilled and tapped a fitting just in front of the throttle body. And we would do the same thing if it was the stock air box, we would be able to put a fitting such as this in place of the stock one. We make sure that we put a vacuum cap on the rear original cold air, clean air side, uh, which has already been done on this. So what we're going to do now is again add in our line for our check valve. Is this a cold air induction air box? Or... The Veraram makes great power. They're just uh, a little finicky as far as uh, how they affect the airflow for the tube. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're dead too? Not a memory. <laughs> oh, great. We'll just pop that memory card. I'd say it's good we're getting done what we're getting done. And if you don't mind, I have another memory truck. If I can send that with you to uh, edit as well. Yep, no worries. Okay. All right. So what we've done now is we've put our secondary suction source for the evacuation. We're using our intake manifold for primary evacuation when we're not accelerating. 
Anytime we're accelerating or at wide open throttle, this valve will close, this valve will open, and it's going to utilize the suction present upstream of the throttle body. So we have improved on the OEM system. The last thing that we're going to do here is we're going to add the clean side separator. And engine cover back in place and it fits right in that little cutout so looks good clean side separator is going to go in here do your quarter turn it's simply going to press into place and then this would normally go into your main air intake tube post map. Since we can't get in post map with the Veriram, then what we're going to do is we're going to run a hose on this to a breather. Uh, normally we would want this to be mass airflow metered, or better yet, we probably uh, with this one, we'll go back to your regular breather. But this is how it would be if it was anything but the Vera Ram. And then this hose would run to the main air intake, just where your OEM one would have fit as well. So, okay.